In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to create your very own public Minecraft server to just play with friends or create a server like Hypixel that hosts mini games, maps, and so much more. Make sure you guys stick around towards the end of the video because I'm going to be teaching you a super cool way on how to learn to code your very own custom Minecraft plugins through your server, which will make your server unique, and also how to make money through your server and create the best server possible. Okay, so the first thing you guys are going to want to do is go to this website right here. There will be a link down below, so you guys could just click on that to get to it. But basically, it's Minecraft servers free forever. So the first you guys are going to want to do is press play on the bottom right. Next, it's going to ask you to log in. I would just use your Gmail if you have one or any email. It doesn't really matter. So next, it's going to bring you to this page where it says servers. And then you're going to look for the create button. I already have two. If you see the create button, probably towards the middle of your screen, just press that. Watch for ads around the middle of your screen because there will be a lot. But that's kind of the way for the company to keep their free servers running. So next, it's going to take you to this create a server page where you could either choose Java edition or Bedrock edition, which includes Windows 10 and Minecraft Pocket edition. So this is the first step that people might mess up. So depending on what you're on, you're just going to click on whatever you want. For the sake of this video, I'm just going to change it to uh, Java edition. But as you can see, Bedrock edition is available. Next, if you press right here, you're actually able to change the little picture of your server. So if you click here, it'll open your files, and then you can choose whatever picture you want. As you can see, I just did my logo for now. But next up is the, you know, customization part of the server. So if we press this little pencil right here, we can actually change the name of the server. We have to keep the ending, though, because it's through their server hosting, you know, program. But we could take off whatever we want. We could add, you know, a cheetah test if we wanted to. And then... Uh, just press the little button to save it and for the welcome message we could also change that we can make it say welcome to the you know what cheetah server let's say or literally anything you want now your server has been created but there are still a lot of steps before we can actually get this server up and running the way we want it to so first off what we're going to want to do is go down to version now this is the version of your game so if you click change right here as you can see we have a lot of versions going all the way back down to 1.1 which is like i think the first minecraft version which is pretty crazy but for now i'm just going to set it to 1.19.3 and then what you guys are going to want to do vanilla 1.19.3 you're going to press this install button but once you press the little download button you should get a check mark and then from there you can go back to the server tab on the left next is the software so if we go ahead and press change we could have different snapshots we could have different servers to run mods or plugins and if you are running a Bedrock Edition server, as you can see, we can have the preview or you can use PocketMine for plugins. But for now, I'm going to change it to the spigot right here so we could add plugins later on. Right here, we're going to have to pick what version of spigot we want. So I'm just going to pick the newest one. Once again, press install. It will automatically change. So now spigot right there. And then we have the version 1.19.4. So at this point, you are ready to start your server. You're going to want to tweak these options over right here, like flying on or off, depending on what type of server you want to make. And also, there's nothing in your server. So once you load up this world and join it, you're just going to get a normal world. So just to show you guys that this is working, I'm just going to start up without tweaking any settings or uploading a resource pack. You're going to have to press yes to this uh, little acceptance thing. But now we can go ahead and load up Minecraft. And make sure we launch Minecraft in 1.19.4 because, as you guys can see, our version of the server is 1.19.4. Alright, now our server is online. So now in Minecraft, what you're going to want to do is press multiplayer. And then you're going to connect to a server like Hypixel or any other public server. So right here, I'm just going to go ahead and copy this right here. You can type it in letter by letter, doesn't matter. And then into Minecraft, uh, I'm going to add a server. For the server address, you're going to paste exactly what you just copied or the name of the server right here. And then you're going to press done. And as you can see, it says welcome to the you know Cheetah server. And it shows my little profile picture that we uh, uploaded before. So now from the website, you could stop, you could restart it. You can see exactly how many players are online. And there's so many different settings to configure your server so you can make it exactly how you want it. So if we go ahead and in our game do slash game mode one, let's say, as you can see, it won't work. Even though we made the server, we do not have permissions yet. So basically the way that you're going to get all the operator commands 
is by going to the website in the console tab, as you can see on the left, I have pulled up. And then you're going to go down here and you're going to have to write slash OP for operator and then space your username. So it would be slash uh, OP, you know, it cheetah for me. And now on the game, if we do slash game mode creative, as you can see on the left, it says, you know, cheetah set their own game mode to creative. So it's like a mirror image between your game and the console tab in the website. But right now, this is all we got for our server. As you can see, this is not like a server that you would normally see with the lobby and different game modes and stuff like that. So once again, if you just want to play with your friends, that's fine. But I'm going to be showing guys how to really make your server better by adding plugins. The reason why you can't add mods to a public server is because the person that's trying to connect, so the hundreds or thousands of people that are trying to connect to your server, are gonna need the exact same mods and that's just too hard to do there will be too many errors too many complications but with plugins whoever's running the server could just set them up and then anyone who joins without downloading anything will still be able to play with those plugins and features plugins are the most important step in creating a successful minecraft server good well-written plugins will make people stay on your server longer and help you make money on your server if you desire to code your own Minecraft plugins or learn Java but don't know where to start, I have a solution for you. This is Mine Academy's Project Orion. Project Orion is a one of a kind course that gives you Minecraft plugin and networking training. This course is made for beginners, so if you have no clue how to code in Java or how to do anything relating to plugins, then this is perfect for you. It also comes with live coaching calls twice a week with expert instructors and access to a Discord server with over 2,000 like-minded people who are trying to grow their public Minecraft server just like you. Learn to earn money and invest wisely and how servers like Hypixel are able to keep players playing on their server for a long time and how to turn those players into a source of revenue. The program makes it easy to keep track of your progress throughout the weeks so it's easy to come back where you left off. Now here's the best part, Mine Academy usually charges annual fees for this incredible course, but as a special offer for anyone watching this video, you can enroll for a fraction of the cost by clicking the first link in the description or by going to mineacademy.org slash you know it cheetah. Lastly, I want to thank Mine Academy and Project Orion, and trust me, you don't want to miss out on this amazing offer. Now I'm going to show you guys how to add a few basic plugins through the website to your server. Yes, it's necessary to have, but it once again won't take your Minecraft server to the next level, won't be unique. But anyways, all you're going to want to do is press the plugins tab right here. Next, there are pages and pages of different plugins. But for now, let's just say we want to add the TPA plugin where basically it allows you to teleport to other people through the chat. So right here, as you can see, it says click TPA. All you're going to want to do is click on the plugin itself. And then I like to download the latest version. But if your server has a version that matches up, then I would recommend that one. Go ahead and download it. And then it will automatically install it into your server. Next, I'm going to go ahead and restart the server. So these changes will actually take place. All right, now our server is back up and running. So we can head over to Minecraft and then go to multiplayer and join our server. And then if we type slash TPA, as you can see, all the commands are there. So we could do slash TPA and then let's say my name It's going to say that uh, you can't teleport yourself. But if anybody was on the server, I would be able to do that. And uh, if we do TPA, as you can see, it says accept, deny and all of that good stuff. So there it is. That's how you create a server and how to add some basic plugins to it. But once again, I'm telling you guys, Project Orion will be the thing that boosts your server to the next level. And not only will it teach you how to code in Minecraft, it will once again teach you how to become a better version of yourself by staying focused, going through the trainings, and making the best Minecraft server possible. Anyways, I hope you guys did enjoy. If you have any questions, leave them down below. Once again, the link is down below for Project Orion. Make sure you guys check that out. But anyways, I'll see you guys in the next one.